Daphne here from Steam Design Lab to show you how to build a simple stomp rocket launcher to use for our air-powered rocket design project. For this launcher, you'll need a half-inch PVC pipe and 3 8 inch flexible PVC tubing. You'll also need a 2 liter plastic soft drink bottle and some tape. I use both masking tape and duct tape. You may also need some scissors and sandpaper or an emery board, and a handsaw and miter box, but only if you'll be cutting the PVC pieces at home. The PVC is sold in 24 inch lengths at Home Depot for under $1.50. Make a single cut 2 inches from one end and you'll get your 2 inch and 22 inch pieces. You can usually do this right in the store. Check the edges of your PVC pipe and file them down to remove any burrs. We want everything to fit snugly and smoothly together. Next, take the 2 inch piece of pipe and slide it into your 2 liter bottle. Slide one end of your flexible tube into that. Be careful not to push the 2 inch piece all the way into the bottle because you may not be able to get it back out. Now wrap a piece of wide masking tape around the ends, making sure to completely seal the edges of the bottle and pipe to the tubing with no air gaps. I'm going to do the same thing with a layer of duct tape. The reason I'll use masking tape first is because I know the bottle will be good for a limited number of stomps before it starts to crack. Once this happens, I'm going to need to replace the bottle and it'll be easier to remove the tape if the masking tape is on the bottom layer. You could get by with duct tape alone or possibly even masking tape alone if you make sure to get a nice strong seal. Feed about an inch or two of the other end of the flexible tube into the longer PVC pipe and apply a layer of masking tape and duct tape to this end as well. Once again, you could choose to use only duct tape or masking tape here. The flexible PVC tubing is sold in 10 foot lengths at Home Depot for under $5. I used the whole length in this video, but you could use a piece that is anything from 3 feet to 4 feet or longer. Its main purpose is to allow you to place the bottle flat on the ground so that you can stomp on it while still having the flexibility to point the rocket in any direction. I've seen plans that use other flexible tubes, like sections of water hose and tire inner tubes, so if you happen to have something like that laying around, you can give one of those a shot instead. As you can see, the half-inch PVC pipe also fits perfectly inside the neck of a one-liter bottle. Water bottles also fit nicely. We use the launcher to test out several rocket designs. The same launch bottle can be used over and over until it springs a leak. But before each new launch, you'll need to restore the stomp bottle, almost like you are inflating it, by blowing into the end of the pipe. Here is the stomp rocket launcher in action with a paper tube rocket. This time, the rocket traveled 120 feet. This design also works great with a water bottle rocket. For instructions on how we built the rockets, Check out the next video in this series. I'll also show you a simpler way to launch your rockets with just one off-the-shelf piece of PVC pipe. No flexible tube or any cutting required. For more information on this project and others, check out our website at steamdesignlab.com.